So the new G.I. Joe movie just hit cinemas this past weekend. And I think the biggest question I think everyone has is why in the hell do they make a Snake Eyes G.I. Joe origin movie? And if you're wondering the same thing as I did when I saw this movie, then we're going to head on over to the review. Welcome back film fans, this is Let's Be Bro with Brad. So today on the channel, I'll be giving a spoiler free review of the new action thriller movie called Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. It is directed by Robert Schwenke and is the third G.I. Joe live action movie. So before we get into the review itself, I do want to say that I have seen both The Rise of Cobra and Retaliation as I was a big fan of Rise of Cobra as you can see this picture here. But then when Retaliation came by, which was definitely years later, I was just not into the franchise at all. I did eventually see it and thought it was one of the most boring mainstream movies I've ever seen. Probably won't rewatch any of those two again. So now that we have Snake Eyes all these years later, this is one of the most generic check box off the list kind of movie that just feels like it's trying to appeal to all different kinds of audiences, but it ends up just being so stale, uninteresting, and it feels like there's no passion that went into this movie. And the biggest problem that I think this movie has, and I don't think this is necessarily with the director themselves, because I'm going to blame Paramount, MGM, and Skydance is trying to set up another movie franchise. So let's just get in some of the positives first because I do have some positives with this movie and we're going to start with the action sequences. This is going to be the biggest draw for anybody to purchase a ticket to see this movie is are the action sequences good? Because in the trailer, there are a ton of them. It looks like a fun action movie and when the action is on screen, I have to say that it is very entertaining and I think that people who do watch this movie movie are going to enjoy it because the action scenes are pretty electric. They have a lot of great stunt coordination and choreography. There's a ton of really cool camera tricks they're able to use just a couple times. I do think the action is very entertaining and it makes this movie flow by so fast. The next positive I have is with the visual effects. I do think the visual effects are quite great considering this is only made for 88 to $110 million, which is a lot lower than the first two G.I. Joe movies and most main mainstream blockbuster summer action movies. My third positive of this movie is the acting. I think all around, the acting is very solid. It's nothing amazing, but it is a little bit above average for this movie to work. And I think having Henry Golding and Andrew Koji were the best choices to play these characters. Henry Golden has been proven for the past couple years now of how great of an actor he is. And I think he sells everything as a Snake Eyes character. I loved him in almost every second of this movie as well as Andrew Koji, who is coming on the rise. I thought he did an excellent job working beside Henry Golding. And with both those two actors working together on screen at the same time, were the best moments of the entire film. Now let's get into the boatload of negatives I have with this movie, and we're going to start with the story. This is probably one of the most generic stories that you can see in any kind of action movie with having a character who wants revenge after a traumatic childhood pass and does their whole life of trying to train for this and won't stop at nothing so then they go with another place another corporation or anything to do the training so they can be able to take out that person that did something to them or someone they loved as a traumatic experience and i feel like this movie just covers all those bases but the way they present it the way it's executed just feels so bland and uninteresting there's no twist or turns that they take with it trying to change from the source material or whatever there is there are other aspects of the story that are interesting but we're in this clan of ninjas and seeing snake eyes being able to train with them was a really cool aspect and going through different challenges that is something we have seen before my biggest problem is is that when we're doing the challenges that snake eyes has to do we also get the G.I. Joe setup, and there are minor characters from the other G.I. Joe uh, properties that you have seen of the action figures and you know that get shoved into this movie just trying to set up the other G.I. Joe movie that will probably come out in the next two years or so. And it feels so distracting, as I would call this the Iron Man 2 
of the G.I. Joe movie. My next negative with this movie is the writing. I've already kind of talked about how clumsy and pretty much lazily put that the G.I. Joe set up in this movie, but I also think the dialogue is really cheesy in this movie and just not being able to be all that interesting. I really hate the way this movie is structured because the beginning of the movie just flows by so fast. You feel like there's no filler. You feel like everything is important for this movie to go forward. But then when we get to the middle of the movie and we're getting that G.I. Joe set up, it just feels like this was an afterthought by the studio to put these all in here because the movie just doesn't flow as well. This movie also takes itself so ridiculously serious that when there are things that really come off as super cheesy, because the dialogue is so bad. And my last nugget with this movie is the pacing. This movie is really bad boring by the time we got into the big battle stuff that you come to expect with a big budget action movie it doesn't work and i just don't care about the characters all that much you're just seeing people get hit with swords and gunshots and all kind of crazy stuff that they put into this movie i am giving snake eyes gi joe origins a 5 out of 10 so thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button leave a like if you want to and ring that notification bell so you never get to miss a new video Oh,